Hello friends, in this video we will study the machine control instructions which are present in the instruction set of 8086 microprocessor. Under this category we have different instructions like wait, halt, NOP, escape and lock instructions. So let us start with our topic. <music> instructions are those instructions which directly control the operations of the 8086 microprocessor means these instructions they have a direct effect or direct influence on this operation on the microprocessor operations so in this category we have the first instruction as the HLT or halt instruction This HALT instruction, whenever it is written in the main program of the microprocessor, then this instruction is going to uh, stop the execution or it uh, make the 8086 microprocessor to stop the execution and fetching of the instructions okay so the microprocessor it will it is not going to because whenever microprocessor is executing a program its main uh, functioning or working is depending upon the fetching of the instruction then decoding that instruction and then executing that instruction so when halt is written the microprocessor will stop fetching and execution of the instructions okay so uh, when this instruction is written the microprocessor it enters into a halt state okay and to get out of this halt state the 8086 or the microprocessor So when this instruction is written, microprocessor enters into a halt state and to get out of this halt state, if the microprocessor is given an interrupt signal, this interrupt signal can be given on the INTR pin or it can be given on the NMI pin of the microprocessor 8086. INTR is the interrupt request and NMI is the non-maskable interrupt. So if these interrupt signals are given or a reset signal is given, then the microprocessor it gets out of the halt state and it will again start executing and fetching the instructions from the memory. Now in the halt instruction the microprocessor is entering into a halt state. So when wait instruction is written the microprocessor it enters into an idle state. Idle state means it is not going to perform any of the operations. It will stop the its functioning okay and it, it is going to wait for some time okay and this instruction is helpful when the microprocessor is communicating with the peripheral devices because the processing speed of the microprocessor it is very high so to cope up with the processing speed of the uh, peripheral devices because peripheral devices are very slow in their communication so when transfer of data is taking place between a peripheral device and the microprocessor the processor has to wait for some time so that the peripheral device it can cope up with the speed of the microprocessor so for that wait instruction is used and when this instruction is written the microprocessor it enters into the idle state and it is going to wait for some time
so 8086 enters into the idle state due to this wait instruction and it is going to come out of this state when a, a high signal is received on the test input pin and a, or a valid interrupt signal is received by the microprocessor so only and in these two conditions the microprocessor will come out to into the, this idle state come out of this idle state and this is used to synchronize the 8086 microprocessor with the peripheral devices third instruction is escape instruction The 8086 microprocessor, it has a coprocessor 8087. So whenever 8086 want to send an instruction to the coprocessor 8087, it uses this instruction escape. So there is a 6-bit instruction which is given to the coprocessor and uh, which is embedded in this escape instruction. Along with this escape instruction, that 6-bit instruction is also given to the coprocessor and uh, when the coprocessor receives this instruction, it is going to perform the functions associated with it. So uh, this escape instruction is treated like an NOP instruction means no operation instruction by the 8086 sometimes but uh, also uh, it uh, sometimes it also treat uh, it is also going to access some data when this instruction is written. So escape instruction is used to pass a 6 bit instruction to the coprocessor 8087. Next instruction is the lock instruction. Now when the 8086 microprocessor it is working in the multiprocessor environment then in the multiprocessor configuration there are various types of processors and these processors are sharing the same system bus for the communication. So this lock instruction is used to lock the system bus for a particular instruction. So whenever lock is written in front of uh, any instruction then the system bus is locked for that instruction by a particular processor only okay so this instruction is used in multiprocessor environment where different systems or different microprocessors are sharing a okay so to lock the system bus for a particular instruction this is used so for example LOCK lock XCHG now here lock instruct, uh, instruction is written in front of XCHG exchange instruction this instruction it requires two bus access so for two bus access time this system bus is locked for a particular microprocessor and no other microprocessor can use the system bus in between that period okay for a particular instruction then this lock is written as a prefix 
before that instruction okay so exchange because it required two bus access so for that much period of time the system bus is locked by the processor it cannot be used by any other processor next instruction is nop instruction so nop instruction means no operation so microprocessor it is performing the operations of fetching decoding and executing the instructions so when nop is written all these operations they are blocked means the, the microprocessor will not perform any of these operations and it will enter into a uh, idle state okay now this instruction it requires three clock cycles so this nop instruction it can also be used to provide the time delays between the instruction if we want that three clock cycles time delay uh, will should be provided in the program then we can write the nop instruction there so a time delay can be provided with the help of this now all these machine control instructions they do not affect the flags okay so here we studied the machine control instructions which are present in the instruction set of 8086 microprocessor we studied five instructions under this category halt wait escape lock and nop instructions so all these instructions are the machine control instructions because they are controlling the operations of the 8086 microprocessor so i hope that this topic machine control instructions in 8086 microprocessor is clear to you thank you